Okay, Matthew Rose just won the Champions League with Real Madrid, but now it's time for the 2026 World Cup and led by new England manager Eddie Howe, our goal is to win the World Cup as that is the final trophy on Matthew Rose's list to win. And now we have an amazing England squad, but I'm not sure if we can actually win it. So drop a like hit that sub button down below and we're going to find out if this England team can win the World Cup. So we're going to be staying in a hotel, the World Cup's in the United States. So we're going to our stuff together, you know, packing, of course, telling Gary that we'll be back soon. Also, it's been like a month since uh, the last episode. And look at Milo. He's already grown up so much. He's still a puppy, but look at him. Now he's huge. Now the parents are going to watch over him during the World Cup. They might join us later on. So we're telling him we'll see you soon too. But okay, we say bye to the parents. Now it's time to catch our flight and head to this hotel we're staying at for the next month and a half probably for the World Cup. So hop on a flight with the England national team. And then we arrive at the hotel we're going to be staying at for the World Cup. I mean, this place looks massive. And then this is the back of the hotel. It's basically like a luxury resort at this point. So yeah, this is going to be very, very nice. So unlike the Euros, only the England national team is staying here. No other team. So you walk in here is the ground floor lobby and then up the stairs here is where our room's gonna be yep that is buka osaka we're in a room next to him and he's getting ready for the world cup as you can see but we got a nice little gym here now saka's room is to the right and then our room is to the left which last year was the room at sterling this time we have our own room we got a tv we got a porch we got a nice little couch and then a bed shower bath the full experience here and we also have one more surprise someone followed us here siggy snuck into our luggage and he's actually come with us to the world cup and as you can see he's roaming around enjoying himself now as nice as all this is the goal remains our focus is winning this World Cup for England. So the tournament starts soon. We're just chilling out in our hotel room watching TV and we get a knock at the door and it's Eddie Howe, our new England manager who replaced Garrett Southgate. Now he stops by because he has something to tell us. He says that Harry Kane has been the captain for England for a while now, but before the World Cup, the team held a vote, a vote on a new captain for the team. And along with even Harry Kane, the team is in agreement that they want you to be the captain for this World Cup of England. And we're like, whoa, okay, all right. And we ask Eddie Howe, how do you feel about that? And he says, you be my pick too. And then we say, all right, I am honored to be the captain of England for this World Cup. So yeah, Matthew Rose is now captain of England, which to be honest, does put a lot more pressure on us to perform, to lead this team. But I think we're ready for that. So there we are. That is how we look with the England captain's armband. And this is the England squad that we have in this World Cup. Now we have to be one of the strongest teams in this World Cup. We got 92 Foden, 89 Kane, Saka 90, 95 Rose, Declan Rice 87, then Bellingham 91. This is Matthew Rose completely maxed out. As you can see, yeah, our stats are pretty good. And then Chilwell, Tamori, Stones, Trent, and then Pickford. Actually, Rams over Pickford, but that right there is the England 2026 World Cup squad captained by Mateus Rose. Now let's show our group. So I don't really see any groups of death here. Like a lot of the groups are very evenly spaced out. Like one big team, one kind of semi-big team. But group A, that is our group for the World Cup. Portugal, England, Wales, and then China. So Portugal's gonna be tough. Wales, kind of tough. So probably one of the tougher groups in this World Cup, I think. And our first game is gonna be against China, though. A must-win game to start the World Cup. And being captain, of course, the media wants to talk to us. So first question, Sky sports and they say there's been a lot of pressure on the england national team over the last few tournaments most feel the team is underachieved what do you think will change this time around and we see our team has the talent to win the world cup a lot of the before younger players are now older we've played together longer so we say now in this tournament is where we feel most confident we can actually win the tournament and they also ask how does it feel to be captain at such a young age and we say well there's a lot of leaders on this team so we're not just a one-man squad but it's a great honor that my teammates have voted me as captain of the team and we're ready for the first game so here we go game number one i mean we're the expect the team to win here so let's get the job done in the opening day of the 2026 world cup now of course this is also matthew rose's first ever world cup we played in the euros pretty sure we got knocked down in the semis of that or the quarterfinals it was one of those two but you see the squad we have like this world cup i think we have a great chance to win if we play as good as we can so here we go 2026 world cup is kicked off game number one matthew rose captaining england i mean if we win this tournament it would make matthew rose a legend but we just got to take it one game at a time which honestly china not having a bad start that's good block and matthew rose picks it up Saka, great ball to us we got that Real Madrid chemistry. Now Kane, he's on the older side, but he's still a clinical finisher. Dillwell into Rose, over to Kane, over to Saka. What a save by the keeper. Okay, we're in the box. Saka, Ross in. Okay, we were actually right there for the rebound. I didn't, I can't predict that. Brent, great steal. Rose, over to Foden. Foden goes to Saka. Someone's got to shoot. Who? Someone's got to take the shot. Bellingham. Over to Saka, gets it to Rose, volley attempt, and that is goal number one. Okay, goal number one of the World Cup goes to Matthew Rose and England. Yeah, we were like so patient there, but Saka flips up to us, left-footed volley into the ground. I mean, there was no chance for them there. Captain starting off the World Cup strong. Of course, Eddie Howe is loving it. 17 minutes in, let's just keep it up. Declan Rice, great steal, Foden gives it to us. Saka, we see you, ball up to Bukayo. Saka, can he reach it? No, he cannot. Now, I think that's a free kick. I think that's to us, actually. Okay, I guess Kane is taking this one. It's a little bit far out. Probably has a bit more power than us, I guess. And you know what? It was on target. I'm not mad. But from now on, Kane, I am taking free kicks. All to Rose. We got people making runs. We're going to try to dink it up to someone. 
Ganks it up. It's going to be cleared, though. All right, Felipe Foden goes to Kane to Bellingham. This movement is insane. Over to Chilwell. Dual dinks it up. It's going to be cleared, though. Kane gets to it. That's going to be to Rose. Back to Bellingham. Bellingham, someone's got to shoot. Okay, we just we just took someone out because I was telling him to shoot. We got a yellow for that? That is so embarrassing. Okay, we tripped. It was an accident. Okay, Beckham might be our mentor. We can't get sent off. That would be uh, too much like Beckham. You know, we're setting the tone. That's what I'll call it, Rose. Chance to shoot Matthew Rose keeper. That was an easy one. Kane gives it to Rose. I need people making runs. And I see a Trent Alexander Arnold making a great run. Okay, he was actually fouled on that. You know what? I'm cool with that. Send it over to Kane. Kane, Saka, Bellingham. Someone's got to shoot. Gets it to Saka. Saka shoots and Saka scores. Both Real Madrid men scoring first for England in the World Cup. It's 2-0. This looks like it's going to be a solid start for us. Once again, 42nd minute. Let's just keep it up. Because we're going to face Wales, which is kind of tough. We're going to face Portugal. Very tough. So we got to win this first game. Although Wales, there's no Gareth Bale anymore. So I don't actually don't know how good that team is anymore. So once again, this is 2026. Okay, China looking to get off to a good start to end the half, but nope. That is halftime. 2-0, we scored. Back and then scored. So I would say Matthew Rose, solid first half at his first World Cup. I mean, other than that yellow card, we just can't get, we can't get another yellow. I will not be sent off in my first World Cup. Kane gives it to Rose. Now we got the Jets. Oh, man, the defense just can't handle us. We play to Kane, maybe Kane. You know what? We got to do it ourselves. We got to do it ourselves. Kane was covered. That is two goals for Matthew Rose. A brace in the first World Cup match. I wanted to play to Kane, but I mean, that defender just stayed with him at the last second. So, gave us the chance to shoot. We score. And it's currently 3-0. Daka, Kane. Kane lays it off. Someone's got to shoot. Kane shoots. And it's 4-0 just like that. So, Rose, Saka, Rose, and then Kane. I and mean, so far, this is going as expected, which is a very good thing. Okay, that's cleared. Back to Rose. We're volleying that all Rose. That was a pathetic volley. Okay, let's try this again. Can we get a turn? Yes, we can. We're going to shoot that one. I want this hat trick. It's right at the keeper, though. Yeah, we are, like, dominating now. Which Foden, I see you, Foden. We're going to go Saka instead. Saka's got to shoot that. Saka will shoot that, and it's 5-0. First assist for us at this World Cup as well. I mean, that's the Real Madrid teammate chemistry right there. Right, we got a few subs on the field. We got Tammy Abraham on. We got uh, Mill Smith throw on. And also Reese James for Trent Oggs and Arnold, too. Like, even on the bench, we got some very great options. Okay, China looking to get one goal at least, but no defense holds up strong. Okay, we got a chance for number six here. Reese James gets it to Saka. Over to Matthew Rowe. And that is a hat trick in the first World Cup game. 6 0, three goals, one assist. This is the start that we wanted. I mean, once again, it's Saka and Rose combining. Now, obviously, this is going to be the easiest game of this World Cup without a doubt, but still a great start. 6 0. Match ball goes to Matthew Rose in the first game. This is the start this England squad wanted. We just need to keep doing this now. And coming off the field, we're talking to Saka like that felt just like Real Madrid a few months ago, huh? And he's like, yeah, the chemistry on the field is just insane. And Eddie Howe says we need to keep this level up the same standard through the rest of the group stage. So, Next game against Wales, we're going to sim this game, which this one is going to be, that's going to be 4-0. Kane, Bellingham, Kane, and Declan Rice. So first two games have been perfect, but the next one is the big one against Portugal, which if you look at the group, we're already through in the group, but this game determines who finishes first, which as we know is huge. Like this game right here will determine our round of 16 opponents. So it's a Portugal squad of Jota, Felix, Tenecao, Vieira, Vitina, Nunes. It looks like a good team, but so far we've been perfect. Can we continue that? So a huge game that will determine who finishes first in the group, like I said. We don't win this we're gonna make it a lot tougher on ourselves in the knockout stage which is what we do not want and yeah this team's a little bit better than china so i'm expecting a tougher one all right sure well great still leads to this counter foden's on side foden get it back to us he does matthew rose from our signature spot and just like that it's one nil oh man just another perfect start for us we got them all in that spot you gotta put someone on us foden just plays back to us that defender goes with Kane and Asio, or actually Dias, and then that's just our spot. 1-0 uh, to England just like that. And also goal number four for Matthew Rose. Okay, Trent up to Saka, Kane. Oh, Kane's got a chance to score. What a save by Costa, though. I can't believe he saved that. All right, that corner is going to be cleared. Chance for Rice. That is flipped up awkwardly. I don't know what that pass was. Declan Rice, good ball to us. Now we got, we got Trent, and then that is played to Saka. What a pass, Saka. Right here, Saka. Two rows, shot. Oh man, that was blocked by I think uh, Ruben Diaz. Now Jota cross over to Mendez, and then I think that was uh, I think that was Trent the great steal. Hey, so far we're looking strong. Saka, are you in? I think he's kind of in. Trent Saka gets it to us. We need a we need a pass here. Okay, we just got we just got pushed over by Nunez. Apparently not a foul. Oh, we got a lot of space here. Saka plays it back to us. We're gonna play it to Foden. How do we not get that ball through? That should be a goal right there. Oh, that is our fault. Now Vieira shoots. Stones gonna block that one. And okay, that's first half. Only one nil still. I mean this game is way way closer. Than, uh, than the China game, of course. All right, Francisco Trincao is bombing forward. Now, we're in a decent spot to defend that, but Ramsdale, great catch. Sack up to Bellingham. Bellingham gets it over to us. Now, we got a cross to Kane. We're going to try and cross out of someone. That was a great cross. Kane, rebound, can't get it. Bellingham gets that past us. Is that handball? That should have been handball on Bettina. We, like, flipped that up right at his hand. All right, Rose. Up to Bellingham. That was actually meant for Bellingham, but Saka could not control it either. Now, we do feel like we're the better team here, but this one scoreline, this one goal, 
is making me a bit nervous, but what a save by Costa again. Corner swing in by Saka. That is going to be, oh, what a great header, but what a good save again. Bellingham should have scored that. That is crossed in Rose. We're not going to reach that one. Bellingham gets it to Rose. This is kind of our spot from the... That's our spot, but that wasn't our shot, though. All right, 68th minute. This game has gone by fast, but it's still just 1-0 to England. Salvez, Trent. What a good tackle by Trent. Saka lays it off to Rose. We got Foden. Gonna get it to Philip. Philip gets it to Bellingham. Into Rose. What a great move. And again, Costa is keeping Portugal in this game. Corner sent in. Now, that is not ours. We are gonna play this back to Declan Rice. Someone should shoot. Okay, that's a good move, but the ball is immediately intercepted. 15 more minutes. I am a little bit nervous. Now, I don't know if we draw, if we still go in first, because we're currently first. So I think if we drew, we'd still go through. In first, I mean, I just said it like five times. But so far, I think we look okay. Just don't let him score there. Can solve as, oh, hits the crossbar. Please clear it. Thank you. Oh, no. They have momentum and energy. Felix gets it over to Vitinha. Vitinha trying to mark him back to Felix. I don't like this movement right now. We need to win this ball back right now. Ball into layout and Rafael layout scores. What a shot. Okay, I think if we draw, we still go through first though. I think. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. So we can go for a winner, but we just cannot let them score another right now. Saka, get it to us. Get it to us. Good ball. Kane. Try to dig it to you. Can't get it to you at all, though. All right, two minutes added on, boys. We got to defend with our life right now. They pretty much have one more chance. Still well, mark him. Oh, I don't like this space right now. I do not like it. I don't like it. Vitinha gets it back. Boys, we got to win this ball back. We just can't let him. Okay, the ref blows the whistle because Felix is wasting time. So the game ends 1-1. I'm pretty sure that means we finish first, but I'm not entirely sure. So uh, let's check. Okay, thankfully on goal difference, we do finish first. We scored that crazy amount of goals in the first two games. So in our first really test the World Cup, we didn't play it amazing, but we still finish in first place. All right. So back in the hotel, we're getting some laps in, you know. This pool kind of reminds us of the pool at home. And we're also having a bit of relaxation before the round of 16 draw happens. And we're also getting a little bit of a workout in. Like, it's sick is here with us working out, even though we're still mad he snuck in here. But okay, Portugal gave us a pretty big test. We still feel like we're one of the best teams in the World Cup, but that game does make us a little bit nervous about the round of 16, which we're about to reveal the team we've drawn in the round of 16. So 2026 World Cup round of 16 draw has happened. We got Argentina, Netherlands, Germany, Ghana, Brazil, Italy, and then Spain versus Portugal. So if we would have finished second, we would have got Spain. Instead, we've been drawn Northern Ireland in the round of 16. Also, Qatar, Croatia, France, Czech Republic, and then Australia, Hungary. So as you can see, a very easier draw than Spain. So finishing first was so important for us. So we are the heavy favorites in this game. We still need to get the job done, though. So the first knockout round of the World Cup. I would say we're very fortunate to have Northern Ireland. I mean, the team were much better then. So this has got to be a win. Like Matthew Rose captaining the team. We cannot be knocked out in the round of 16, especially by this team. All right, Rose out to Chile. Chilwell, Chilwell crosses it. Rose is going to fight for that. Not going to hit it, though. Now, that is one back to us. Foden, Foden will lose it. That's a rough tackle. Apparently not a penalty, though. No, I don't want any World Cup shocks. Uh, they almost just scored. That makes me a little bit nervous. Okay, Foden, we got space here. Foden, I'm way faster than Kane. That's a good ball, but oh, we can't quite reach it. Okay, Ireland having a very strong start. We are defending that, and we are just going to clear it. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit worried now. We need a goal to just set the tone here. Rose over to Bukayo Saka. Saka crosses it in. We're there for that. Matthew Rose header, and just like that, it's 1-0. Ronaldo taught us how to head the ball around Madrid, and we finally get to use it. Once again, it's Saka and Rose, too. It's a perfect cross by Saka, and then Rose, we're first to it, and it's a perfect header right there. Setting the tone for the game, that's a captain's goal. All right, 20th minute, 1-0 to England. It's also our fifth. Fifth goal in four games in the World Cup. Rose, you're about a Saka. He's not going to reach that. He almost stole it, actually. But Bellingham instead steals it. Odin to Rose. Rose into Saka. Saka shoots. He should have scored that. Corner swung in by Bellingham. Not going to reach us. It's going to be cleared. Okay, boys. Ireland. They're kind of in here. That's going to be a shot. Stones blocks it. Our defense not looking too strong here. Ball to us. And I see Chilwell bombing forward. Chilwell into Kane. We're right here. Ball. We leave it for someone. Saka shoots. I didn't mean to leave that. I was going to actually take that and shoot. That is a corner at Matthew Rose. Not going to reach it again, though. We can't get these corners. Now, that is to Rose. That's a volley attempt that we we actually shoot, and it's actually not that bad. All right, Ireland, last chance in the first half, which that is a good ball. We're covering, though. Matthew Rose is covering. Didn't cover it the best there, and now in the box, they have a chance to get maybe one goal for the half ends, which they don't. Chubo intercepts it. Okay, first half, 1-0. I mean, I don't like how much they're attacking us, but the score is 1-0, so so far, the job is being done. I think one or two goals will definitely make me feel a lot better, though. Which Rose? Over to Foden. Foden, I'm right here. What are you going to try to do? He decides to just wait. And then Rose over to Kane. Someone's got to shoot. Kane shoots. It's going to be saved. What an awkward attack. No one knew what to do there. Bellingham in to Matthew Rose. Power shot by Rose. And it's going to go wide. Still have never scored one of those. Right, we got 30 minutes left. Man, 1-0. I don't like this. Just one goal lead again. Versus Portugal. It did not work. I don't want it to happen again, especially in a knockout game. Brent 
to Kane. Leaves it for us. We got more runners. Gonna get it back to Saka. Saka tries to get it to Trent, but cannot get it to Trent. I was an Arnold. You know, we're gonna have to help defend here. But Stones, good defending. Come on, boys. Let's score the second goal and just, like, seal this game. Ball out to Ben Chilwell. Chilwell, hold it up. Chilwell, get it back to us. Okay, he didn't get it back to us quick enough. The team is feeling the pressure, which means, as captain, we need to help lead and seal the game. Bellingham, two rows in our patented spot. It's going to be saved. Oh, man, Taylor, Taylor. That is good defending my Stones again. All right, 78th minute corner. That is good. That's a great, actually, header by Bellingham again. He just hits the crossbar, though. Come on, corner in. Send it to Rose. I'm there for that. Not going to reach it. Bowden gives it to, okay, Tamori, to us. We're going to shoot that. It's blocked, of course. We blocked it, but it's handball on us, I think. All right, same subs as the first game. With Tammy Abraham up top. We got nine minutes to wrap up this game and head to the quarterfinals. That's a great pass, though. Emil Smith throw. Can we find you? We can. Gives it back to us. In to Tammy Abraham, and that will seal the game. Okay, we picked out the most perfect pass right there to Tammy, and that should send us to the quarterfinals. It should not have been this difficult, but this pass right there was perfect. All right, Ireland have a last chance maybe to get back in this game if they score here, which they are not going to. Smith throw, ball up to Rose. We got Saka. Can we hit him in the middle? Not quite, but Smith throw heads that to us. Volley attempt by Rose is going to be saved. Short corner. Okay, I didn't mean to go this far. I didn't mean that, but you know what? Left footed finesse shot. Okay, that's that's gonna be blocked. But you know what? That's it. We head to the quarterfinals. Ireland put up a lot more of a fight than I thought that would, but Eddie Howe leads England. Now, the only good team we faced really is Portugal, so we haven't really faced uh, that good a competition yet, but that's gonna change here very, very soon. But hey, we are the top scorer of the World Cup currently with five goals in four games. Like, I do like that. So teams make it through England, Croatia, uh, Czech Republic. France knocked out in the round of 16 by Czech Republic. Whoa. Uh, Hungary beat Australia, then Spain beat Portugal, Italy beat Brazil, so Skamaka should be still in there playing for Italy and then Argentina and Germany go through as well so we could face a lot of really good teams in the quarterfinals like I said it's gonna start getting very very serious here so as captain we've led England to the quarterfinals now can we actually lead them to a World Cup trophy though we're gonna find out in the next episode which is also gonna be the series finale of the Matthew Rose player career mode it's gonna be a special one so if you enjoyed drop a like I'm on screen this video you might like and as always I hope you have a great day